everyone, so welcome back and um, today I'm actually doing a home repair job because a couple of weeks ago I went around the house doing a few little jobs with my screwdriver, feeling all good about myself and then I came to the kitchen trying to tighten some of the doors and everyone was fine apart from this one because it just fell off. Well it was hanging and if I left it it would have just ripped out. So I didn't really know what was the easiest way to do this because my theory was to rip this piece of trim out, put a piece of wood behind there just so I could put a longer screw in for it to fix, but I thought it's gotta be an easier way. So I asked my dad and he came up with a couple of theories, like putting some raw plugs in the hole and then adding a screw, or another idea, which I actually preferred, and I'm going for this one, and that is to mix some wood filler with this cupronol trade. I don't know if I've said that right, but apparently it makes it really hard, harder than wood itself, and you just fill the hole, drill a pilot hole, and then attach the screws. So I'm gonna go for that idea today and test to see if it works. So if it does, I can pass it on to you. So I'm hoping this works. So obviously I removed everything from this cupboard first just so it was easier to work with and I've hoovered the two holes in question that I know are dodgy. I didn't want any debris left behind. So I'm using about a golf ball size amount of the wood filler. That was definitely far too much for what I needed. And I used about a pea amount of the wood hardener. And I just placed that in a disposable pot, gave it a good mix. But I definitely stressed to wear gloves because it did irritate my left thumb. Oh my God. That's hilarious. He's gone hard already. And that's because I was faffing about with the camera. Right, off to make another. Right, so I don't get caught out again. I'm mixing it just before I put it in the hole. I'm just packing that in there, forcing it in every direction. Right, I'm leaving it. I'm just scraping any excess off around it. It worked. 